Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be working on the Berry Buck, a 266 inch monster out of Missouri. Um, I'm also going to be doing a little bit more of a voiceover as I do the tracing, just to give you an idea of uh, some of the things that are going through my mind um, uh, and how to do one of these designs. So let's just jump into it. All right, so one of the first things I look for whenever I'm starting a design is which antlers on top. So if you were to zoom out on this design and, and take a look at it, this antler on the right hand side, which is the deer's left beam, is actually on top of most of the other tines. If you were to just flatten the whole image, that would be on top. So when I'm uh, starting off on a design, I want to do the antlers on top because then everything behind it, uh, I have the, the front line to go off of. That might make a little bit more sense um, as you watch the video here. Uh, for example, when I'm working on that tine in the back there, I already have a starting point because I have the front lines drawn. I also try to capture a little bit of the uh, the, the character of the antlers, the, where the tines overlap. So that's these extra lines that I draw in here. They make uh, the design have a lot more character once I've flattened it and made it black and white. and give a sense of the depth of the antlers, maybe some of the twists and turns to it, instead of just having a flat profile view. Down near the bases, especially on photos that have really high resolution like this one, um, I can capture a lot of the, the little nubs and a lot of the little detail like that. Um, and it can really make the design look a lot cooler. So here I am tracing one of the tines that's in the background. See how I don't want to overlap the, tine, the uh, design I'd already done in front. Figuring out where the base of the antler is through the hair here can be kind of tricky. So a little bit of an imaginary line will end up getting going through the hair at the base. Trying to capture all the design all through here again. Later on, I'll go back and smooth out the details on these. I'm just trying to get the rough line for now. See, so yeah, I have to adjust that. It's sort of an imaginary make up the line that goes through the hair.
And again, the lines that run parallel with each other aren't perfect now. I'll be cleaning them up in just a moment here. Just making sure I've gotten all of the design. Now I've put a black background on there and, and made the antlers white. It really makes it a lot easier to finesse the details. And what I'm doing right now is um, trying to make everything match up and look uniform. Uh, make sure that the spaces between the points, all the different lines that are drawn are uh, the same distance apart and roughly parallel. And that'll really make the, the design look a lot cleaner when it's actually printed or engraved. But it can add a lot of time to a design. And I like to only, as much as possible, only edit the line on the point behind. You want to keep that front front line as, as literal as possible, as accurate as possible. Um, and then you just edit the, the time behind it, the spacing for the time behind it. And that's the berry book design. If you've enjoyed this video, you might like some of my other videos. I've done a caribou and a moose and a number of other trophy whitetails recently. So links on the screen, go check them out and I'll see you next time.